Baja is so special because of the Gulf of California, also called the Sea of Cortez, which is a very young and deep ocean basin that has a lot of productivity. You've got whales, you've got dolphins, and you've got birds, and it can be overwhelming. So for a photographer, how do you capture that? It really comes down to learning a new way of seeing. You are always anticipating. You are always waiting for those key moments where things are coming together in the viewfinder. And when it happens, it's pure magic. And Baja has magic in space. I'm Ralph Lee Hopkins and I'm a National Geographic photography expert and the founding director of our expedition photography program. We are here in Baja, California on board the National Geographic Venture. And Baja, California is very special to me personally and also an extra special place on the planet. And it's no secret now that I'm retiring from full-time status, so I'll be making fewer voyages each year. My first expedition with Lindblad was a trip to Baja. It was where I first looked into the eye of a gray whale, where I first went ashore on these desert islands. Baja is where the desert meets the sea. You have this fairly young sea in terms of the history of the earth that is just filled with whales and dolphins, coupled with the desert landscapes and these string of pearls, these islands in the Sea of Cortez and not to mention the marquee animal, the gray whales that feed in the Arctic and then make their swim back to their lagoons where they were born here in Baja, California, along the Pacific coast. And then when you make a landing by Zodiac on a remote desert island, you've got the towering Cardone cactus, which is foreign to most people. And then there's unique plants as well and animals, especially lizards. In fact, Baja has as much, if not more, endemism that is unique plants and animals than Galapagos. But it's just not as famous because Darwin wasn't here. Most people think the desert is sparse, but there's really a lot to see, and it's a treasure hunt. Somewhere out there, there's a masterpiece. There could be the spiny-tailed iguana on the top of a cardone cactus munching on a flower. And it's those moments that are just so special and stay with people, especially if they can make that image that makes their heart sing. There is a method to telling the story and teaching others how to tell the story of their expedition. The establishing shot, finding details, including the activities and the people. So on an expedition to Baja, it's all about the light and the marine mammals. When you've got marine mammals in front of you, we are giving advice, tips and tricks on how to capture fast moving animals. And it's not how many moments you capture in a situation like that. It's about getting the shot that really sets the mood for the scene. Now on land, we talk about the photographer's mantra, light composition moment. We try to lead interested folks to places that will make pleasing composition. And then the hardest thing to get is, is the moment. And sometimes we come away with two out of three and it's still a beautiful image. There is something that happens in the brain when you click the shutter. Even if you never look at the picture, you make a connection with that moment. Photography really solidifies your memory, and I believe it makes it more meaningful if you're an image maker. 